Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe from DualShockers.com and today we are going to take a look at the latest version of the Xbox app for Windows 10 which is already available in the Insider Preview As you can see, I can change my settings here uh, This is the main menu and I can personalize my avatar actually just my, my, gamer, take, my gamer picture here and this is the avatar uh, app it's pretty much works a lot like the one on the Xbox one but of course uh, you can uh, use your mouse here for customizing your avatar you choose an outfit classy outfit can choose my shoes and my accessory ev everything like it is on the Xbox one or on the Xbox 360 at that I just found it a little, a little bit better using a mouse but that's just me here is the uh, I can choose the pose for my avatar different poses this definitely looks appropriate I can zoom it's a little <laughs> it slides a little too hard here uh, it's a little difficult to position there it goes I can zoom a little bit more then I can choose my background among many Pretty much like an Xbox One, I can choose a gamer tag, gamer picture size, and I can activate my thingy and I can turn it to a picture. I pretty much accelerated every loading time uh, just to because I don't want to make you wait. It is, I can save my avatar, I saved my, my new gamer picture. Uh, it won't update immediately, but it will soon enough, as you will be able to see later. Uh, I can participate into a party uh, as you can see I can start a party and I will be able to party with every other Xbox Live member uh, of course I don't want to disturb people so I'm going to cancel it for now but uh, I can invite everyone whether they are on Xbox One or on, or on PC and I can leave my party again it works perfectly uh, now uh, let's check this is my games uh, I can send messages like I was in any other Xbox device um, and actually here there is the, the advantage that of course I'm using a keyboard on a PC of course you can use a keyboard on an Xbox one as well if you want but of course uh, it's more likely for you to have a keyboard on your PC yeah I'm not going to send a message to Phil Spencer right now but you got the gist of it And now I there is of course the activity alerts like on Xbox and I can check out my friends and their key achievements everything I want now they are my achievements and I can uh, see them all and I can zoom them all I, s I can see the, the picture and I can share them pretty much like on Xbox one as well again having a keyboard is pretty much a big advantage here uh, so I, I can see myself doing a lot of those things uh, directly on uh, on Windows 10 instead of uh, doing them on Xbox because it saves me time I don't have a keyboard attached so and this is the store um, which shows all the all the Xbox catalog and uh, it has all kind of, of apps you can purchase them there directly from here wow that was a really bad game and now I can connect to my Xbox one takes a little bit uh, I'm going to accelerate uh, loading uh, in this video but uh, it works pretty much seamlessly at least in the connection um, here, uh, as soon as I connect, I can see my uh, the last game I played, and I can connect, and I can start streaming, and will bring up this blue screen, then this transparent screen, accelerated, and as you can see, my gamer pick has changed to the one I selected before. This is my Xbox One, so it's seamless, it moves directly from the PC to the Xbox One, and now I'm playing Forza uh, Horizon. 
and as you can see uh, I'm not playing very well because I'm using an Xbox 360 um, controller on this on this Xbox I'm not even paying very much attention uh, I mean on the on on the PC but yeah also the the new Porsche that was given for free is actually quite a wild horse uh, yeah I can play pretty much seamlessly without any problem uh, especially if you're using an actual Xbox one controller and not a crappy Xbox 360 well it was good for its time but at the moment it really isn't uh, as good as the Xbox one controller anyway I can seamlessly, seamlessly turn on my, my Xbox One and play it without any problem. Uh, with Xbox Live support and everything. Pretty much like I was on my Xbox One. And there is very little lag, it works very well. I can, when I destroy my car, I can stop. And I can try to turn off my. My Xbox One here it didn't work. At times it's still a beta, so at times it's, it's it doesn't work. But theoretically you will be able to turn off your Xbox One and then turn it on when, when you're ready. Here are my or my settings. I can uh, change pretty much everything about the app that I want. And there is the game DVR settings as well. There is there is I can turn it off if I don't care to record anything. I can turn it back on. And here are all my controls to start recording and such I can also have uh, have him record in the background and I can choose the quality of the recording and I can choose the quality of the audio as well and I can decide not to record the audio if I don't want to record it now let's go back to Windows and PC games. This is my my games list. I can add more games if some haven't been um, detected directly by by the app. But I already have uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes ready, and it's loading now. Uh, the game is from Steam, and all the Steam's features work perfectly in uh, parallel with the Xbox features. There is no conflict that I noticed. And it's a Kojima production game, so remember Hideo Kojima game? It's written there. There we go. Snake stands. Skipping loading. And here we are. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to of course, this is not streamed, so the quality is much better. This is not streamed from the Xbox One. It's running natively on the on the PC. What do you see? And it looks very good. To get more intel. Snakes does his reconnaissance, but I'm not going to re to sneak or anything here because just a demonstration of the of the game running from the with the Xbox app and if I if I press the hamburger button and I can bring up the game bar and here there are more settings as so you can select them uh, this uh, also comes up with the Windows plus G button if, it, if you keep the controls default and I can take a screenshot and we'll save it in PNG which is the best, best formula because it's not compressed or you can start a recording if you look at the top right it will it will show that it's recording it will not appear in the video of course and will show how long it's been recording now I'm just going to slaughter everyone because I'm bloody bloodthirsty like that take my aim and kill him come on die oh, okay yeah, I don't normally play Metal Gear like this. You know, it's fun like this, at times as well. Headshot! Oh, 
the Xbox app and the game DVR work perfectly. I actually did not notice any any impact on my performance, and uh, it's and this is not a powerful computer because I'm using I, I'm using the the Insider Preview of Windows 10 on my uh, on my secondary computer, of course, which is old. Now I stop it recording and I can quit the game. But yeah, my computer is. Uh, an Athlon X4 with a GTX 660, so it's not that great, and it works perfectly. Now I quit my game, and I can go check out my recording. And as you can see here, I have my my picture, which I can rename. Even here, as usual, having a keyboard uh, makes these operations much faster and I also have uh, oh by the way I can't share it because it doesn't recognize this as a game for the moment I don't know if this is going to be fixed later um, now I can watch my video can skip ahead if I want you can check the control the sharing thing is probably going to be fixed, but this is just a beta, we have to remember it. I can trim my video if I want to just show the headshot, for instance, because the rest is pretty lame. Well, the headshot was pretty lame as well for a Metal Gear game, but, you know. There it goes. I can either save on the original or save a new copy of the video. In this case, I'm saving a new copy. takes just a little while to save it there it is I can rename it again if I want and there it is only the part is selected pretty much like the game DVR on Xbox One I can delete the original because I don't need it anymore. This is the video in its re in its uh, MP4 uh, format. I can just take it from the, the the folder and do whatever I want with it. It's much easier than on the Xbox One, of course. You're also going to see the screenshot. It's in uh, in the article uh, if you're curious. So that's it. Uh, that's it for the Xbox app, and it works really well. Uh, hopefully, it will be improved for further, but uh, we are very close to release. Release is on uh, July 27, I think, uh, and uh, it works great. It has a lot of features, so uh, I honestly can't wait for to have the final version in my hands. But for now, so far, so good. See you, and thank you for watching. Bye.